What is our normal blood pH? It's actually within the range of 7.4. A blood pH that is below 7.4 can lead to blood acidosis, while a blood pH above 7.4 will lead to alkalosis. Welcome to BioWorld, where I'm going to explain how blood pH is regulated by the kidney. I shall use this simple diagram to help explain blood pH regulation. Here is the peritubular capillary that surrounds the nephron. And over here, I have a cross section of the tubule in the nephron. The tubules related to blood pH regulation are the distal convoluted tubules and the collecting ducts. On the left and the right, we have the tubular cells and the center here is the space or the lumen in which filtrate and urine flow through. During urine formation, we have learned that the filtrate and the urine will contain a number of metabolites. Here are some examples. Hydrogen phosphate ions that can function as a buffer. Ammonium ion that is produced through the deamination of excess amino acids and sodium ions. However, my discussion now is to focus on the blood pH regulation. So let's say the hydrogen ion concentration in the blood begins to increase. It may increase due to respiration, due to diet or even metabolic processes. When the hydrogen ion concentration increases, the blood becomes acidic. So, the blood pH will begin to decrease. To help stabilize the blood pH, the kidney tubular cells play a significant role. The interesting thing about the tubular cells is that they can synthesize the enzyme carbonic anhydrase. You have learned about this enzyme when we studied Chapter 7, Gaseous Exchange. In that chapter, we learned that the red blood cells synthesize carbonic anhydrase. So now, we also learn that the kidney cells synthesize carbonic anhydrase, which will combine carbon dioxide and water to form carbonic acid. Carbonic acid then ionizes into hydrogen ion and hydrogen carbonate ion. What happens next is that the hydrogen carbonate ions produced in the kidney tubular cells will diffuse out and be absorbed into the peritubular capillaries. The sodium ion that was in the lumen of the tubule will be actively transported into the peritubular capillaries. Here, the sodium ion will combine with the hydrogen carbonate ion to form sodium hydrogen carbonate, which is an antacid that can neutralize the acidic pH of the blood. In this way, the blood pH can return to 7.4. Meanwhile, the kidney tubular cells will have a higher concentration of hydrogen ions. This will then make the cells become acidic. So what happens next is that the hydrogen ions will diffuse into the lumen of the tubule. Here, the hydrogen ion will combine with the hydrogen phosphate ion as well as the ammonium ion to form ammonium salt. The ammonium salt then will be excreted along with urine. So this is how blood pH is regulated. Until I see you next time, bye-bye.